us understand our past. Later tonight on Pastime Investigates, we take a look at the battle slash hurling match which took place in Moy Turang, County Mayo, 1272 BC between the Fear Bugs and the Tua de Danon. Reports say thousands died in the hurling match slash battle, but Tua de Danon says that there is more blood spilled outside Horns most Saturday nights and that it was a very long time ago. Tonight's main story is about the invasion and possible murder of Pharaoh's daughter Scotia and the political impact it will have on our country. Here we see the grave of Scotia, who died on the eve of battle with the ruling Tua de Danon. She was one of the leaders of a group of invaders known as the Malaysians, who landed in the Dingle area and are intent on conquering this fabled land. We're gonna take prisoners and kick ass. I'm the Bonestor. How on that Celts? Earlier, we interviewed their leader Niall, leader of the Malaysians, who was adamant on his intentions. The two day Danon kill my love, Scotia, the Pharaoh's daughter. And for this, they'll pay. Here is a picture of the Pharaoh's daughter, Scotia, who is married to Niall. Niall is the grandson of Gaul. Here is a photo of Gaul with the Hebrew legend Moses, who cured him of a snake bite and promised his people who go to a land that would be freed of snakes. Well, I, uh, I like to hunt and um, I make my own jewellery and uh, well, I, I like to keep fit because uh, if the belly gets too big, sure, herself will leave me. And, um, and I like poetry. I like to write poetry about poetry. And um, and killing. I'm fond of the old killing. Here in the studio, we are joined by Goddess Iru and who the country may be named after in the future. These people, these people, or invaders as you call them, are here trading. But they want to speak a different language, this Ogum. We want to grow as a society and create jobs we need to speak a language such as theirs. Well, to be quite honest, we're actually traders. This whole Celtic warrior thing, it's just to keep people on their toes. And uh, all with the Celtic language, it's easier to barter with the Welsh and, and those in Brittany. And uh, well, the women love the accent. Oh, you should see Horden's beehive on a Saturday night. Oh, I'm telling you, throwing themselves at me. I've seen some of the men, and ladies, they are well fit. On that controversial note, we end this week's report. Tune in next week where we discuss the proposed plans by the Malaysian poet Amagin for the Celts to live overland and for the Tua de Danon to live underground. And more poultry about poultry. More poetry about poultry. <laughs> I'm trying to do it.